We're cruising now. Roderick. Yeah. Uh, bridge this is nav. Please, please uh, look at the position of the ship very, very carefully. Uh, it might be a good idea to engage uh, the auto position at this point with the engine on at zero. We should be able to f go against the current like that and then bring it back very steadily towards that position that's marked stern of ship. We really don't have much time to, to do this. We've got to get it right at this point. So engage auto calc, engage wind compensation. And let's just let it settle here. That might be it. Here in the control van, we're feeling the rumble of the engines Thor as we reposition the ship. Um, we know we are close to our target, this benthic lander, and we're just being sure all pieces of equipment are safe in a position so that we can release this lander. want to spin and lander. match the ship's track with me? The students at South Hadley School are learning about uh, water pressure right now and wanted to know what the pressure where Hercules is located. We are at 1166 meters under the sea floor, which is, there it is on secret. That's it. And Roger. 16 Roger. Roger. Side and we're closing quickly because the ship is moving. Yes, still. you're gonna you're gonna go past it likely. All right, there it is inside. At the step. All right, well. Uh, as we go sliding past it, I'm going to give you your visual. That's fine. At least part of it. And uh, since we are pressed for time, I mean, we don't need to do all the three things I asked for. Um, is so, <laughs> priority number one is to release it safely. Yeah. Um, which, unfortunately, the release is on the other side. Yeah, that's fine, because we're going to go screaming past it. So okay. we're going to end it up there. OK. Uh, so it's, yeah. Um, can we make sure to take some uh, stills and frame grabs of this, please? Of course. We can see that one of the legs is quite buried in the sand, but two seem to be standing off. Bridge this enough. This may indicate that the burn wire wanted to release, but did not. Please, can you dial in and move uh, zero, um, zero, 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 Is there any way to visually see if the uh, release has tripped? Unfortunately, the uh, visual meters. on the release is inside the center post, which okay. everything is in, in the way of. All right. So I'm going to be clocking it around clockwise Thank as you. we go past it. That's fine. Um, we should get a really good view of the whole thing. Is this close enough? I'm not really Did crazy about going a whole lot yeah, closer yeah, no, while we're... Yeah, please don't. This is fine. This gives me a, a good idea of what we've got going on. All right. Eco gig. Does everything look secure, tied um, down properly? So those uh, PVC cylinders, the little black parts on the bottom were supposed to be full of lead shot. Obviously, those got ripped. Um, they are a little bit buoyant there, but they're held in place with the bungees going through the uh, handles. Okay. So that should be fine. Uh, the other stuff is also held down with bungees because nothing got pulled off. Um, the release is right there in front of us on that center post, or the, the post closest to us. The T? Yeah, that T. That okay. is the release. But it does seem that three legs are off the ground. We never got a good confirmation when we deployed it if it landed flat. So it may have just landed this way. Um, yeah, one of I think we just need to kick it. It's Don't possible. You? But one of the farthest leg away from us is definitely buried in the, the mud. Yeah, there's yeah. the weight stack just barely. Maybe, yeah. It is on a bit of a... Hey. There's that foot buried in the mud. If we wanted to, there's...